This is an example video for the topic, writing an expression as a single logarithm. Recall these three properties of logarithms. The logarithm of a product property, which states that log base n of a plus log base n of b equals log base n of a times b. Logarithm of a quotient property, which states that log base n of a minus log base n of b equals log base n of a divided by b. Third, we have the logarithm of a power property. This property states that m times log base n of a equals log base n of a to the power of m. Keeping these properties in mind, let's take a look at an example problem. We are given 2 times log base m of w minus 1 fourth times log base m of z plus 6 times log base m of x. We are asked to write this as a single logarithm. First, we will use the logarithm of a power property to result in the following. Log base m of w to the power of 2 minus log base m of z to the power of 1 fourth plus log base m of x to the power of 6. Notice that, using the power property, we were able to take the number being multiplied in front of the logarithm and move it so it becomes the power of the argument. Next, we will use the logarithm of a quotient property to combine some terms. Log base m of w to the power of 2 minus log base m of z to the power of 1 fourth becomes log base m of w squared over z to the 1 fourth. And our addition of log base m of x to the power of 6 must remain. Notice that when we use the quotient property, the second term that is being subtracted from the first term becomes the denominator in the simplified expression. The first term that is having something subtracted from it becomes the numerator in the simplified expression. Finally, we will use the logarithm of a product property to combine the two remaining terms. This results in log base m of w squared times x to the power of 6 all over z to the 1 fourth. This is our final answer.